The voiced velar fricative is a type of consonantal sound, used in various spoken languages. It is not found in modern English but it existed in Old English Baker, 2012, p. 15. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, a Latinized variant of the Greek letter gamma, gamma, which has this sound in modern Greek. It should not be confused with the graphically similar, the IPA symbol for a close mid-back unrounded vowel, which some writings use for the voiced velar fricative. The symbol is also sometimes used to represent the velar approximant, though that is more accurately written with the lowering diacritic, or. The IPA also provides a dedicated symbol for a velar approximant, though there can be stylistic reasons to not use it in phonetic transcription. There is also a voiced postvelar fricative, also called preuvular, in some languages. For voiced prevelar fricative, also called postpalatal, see voiced palatal fricative. Features. Features of the voiced velar fricative. Its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting air flow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. Its place of articulation is velar, which means it is articulated with the back of the tongue, the dorsum, at the soft palate. Its phonation is voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate during the articulation. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence Some of the consonants listed as postvelar may actually be trill fricatives. See also Index of Phonetics Articles Voiceless velar fricative Guttural Notes References External links Recordings of the voiced and voiceless velar fricatives are also available at IPA consonants.